Mr. Otter Studio. Today we're going to be painting a watercolor owl. This was a request. So I'm going to go over drawing it with you and then we're going to be painting it in watercolor. These are the supplies that you'll need. You're going to need some watercolor paints and we're using this Prang 8 color set. If you have watercolor paper, I would suggest using it. We're just using this kind. Some brushes. I'm just going to be using a medium round and then a small round. But if you have one brush, that will still work. I always have a paper towel. You need some water. And then I'm going to be using some salt for the background. The person who made the request, I don't know how advanced you are, if you draw owls a lot. I don't, and I don't know if a lot of you do. So I'm gonna go over drawing the owl first. So when you're drawing this, make sure you draw it really, really lightly on your watercolor paper. I'm gonna draw it darker just so you can see it. We are drawing a snow owl that is taking flight, so it's in the air. We're going to start out with a circle in the middle of our paper, and this circle is going to be the head of the owl. Now let's go ahead and sketch in the body, and the body is just about as long as the head because it's kind of going behind it, and it basically is just a almost like a little drip that's coming down from it and coming up. Now let's go ahead and draw the shape of the tail feathers and they're coming out right where the head kind of lines up with the body where they meet right here. We're going to bring those tail feathers out and they go a little bit lower than the body. So this is just kind of a, a bell shape I guess on the bottom. Okay now we're gonna draw this wing that's coming up to the side so it comes up at an arch and then it kind of goes flat out to the side, pretty far, and then it kind of bells and drips down, comes in a little bit when you reach under this little bend, and then it just bends in like that. This next wing, it comes and bends at the same point, so you can draw a light line over to it if you want, but it comes at a sharper angle up, and then this wing ends up here. So instead of going straight across like this and horizontally, it starts going diagonally like that. And then this wing feathers down like a fan, comes in, and then it has this next part that comes down, probably at a little bit closer of an angle and then in. It will look like an owl, I promise. Now let's go ahead and draw in where the feet are going to be. So they're just going to come out kind of to the side this way and you're just going to be drawing a W basically to the side. So just draw a W, and then the legs are pretty thick, and we're just going to be drawing one talon and then two. So it almost looks like a thumb with a pointed finger. So a drip and then a arch like that, it almost looks like a cartoon hand. Now let's go ahead and start sketching in the face. A snow owl has a very distinct shape around its face, and it almost looks like a heart. So it's looking a little bit to the side. So I'm just gonna draw a line where the middle of the face is. You don't need to do that. But what it does is it dips down right here and then comes around like a heart without the point at the bottom. I guess it could be the shape of an apple right there on the face. Now the shape we're going to be drawing in the eyes is this. It's gonna come up, go down, and come up. And something that might be helpful for you if you draw things kind of in the wrong place, I'm just gonna draw a line right here and I'm gonna keep the eyes underneath it. So I'm gonna start right here and come in at an angle, then come right back over here. And then to make the eyes, you just make a little arch underneath and an arch underneath. And then this is going to be the beak. So just draw a triangle underneath it. So I'm gonna just shade in the eyes so you can kind of see what's going on here. I'm gonna to try to make these wings as easy as possible for you. These feathers on this part come up to a point somewhere in here. You don't need to draw this. These feathers come to the point right here. The easiest way that I've found to draw wings is just divide up this space and bring all the lines up to here. So we're just gonna draw a line here, and then your lines can get a little bit closer right there. After you draw all of your lines into that point, then you can actually make it look like these are feathers. I'm just going to arch this line up, this line, this line, this line, and then towards the bottom, they start to just turn round. There's actually kind of a wing, I can, or a feather that's kind of coming up behind that one. I'm gonna draw some lines coming up. These ones kind of bend towards the owl. And then these ones are just round. 
right here where this wing comes in, it kind of bends up like that. All right, now let's start on this wing. So let's just bring the lines, and on this one I'm just going to come in from the side. I'm just trying as hard as I can to bring these lines back to that point right there. Okay, after you, we draw these lines in, let's go ahead and put the shapes in the end. So I'm just gonna curve that line down, curve that line, curve that one, and then down here they just start to get round. On this one, we can kind of see the back of the wing, so we're going to put a little bit of an arch right in here. Or just kind of a line that runs parallel or next to this one. And then just put in these feathers. They just come straight down from it and then curve the bottom of those. So the tail feathers, if they all went to a point, it would probably be right in the middle of this owl's forehead. And then we're going to angle the side ones they come in at a nice angle and then the ones that get closer to the owl are round that's the basics of drawing the snow owl i hope that was helpful all right now let's get ready to paint remember this should be drawn on your watercolor paper really really lightly okay now we're going to paint the owl first we're going to paint from light to dark doing the details very last and then we're going to paint the background and we're going to be using a little bit of salt in the background to just give it a little bit of texture and a little bit of interest. For the colors that we're using for this owl are yellow, orange, and blue. So I'm just gonna make a puddle of water, filling it with water with my bigger round brush. And I'm gonna drop some blue in there and some orange. I'm just kind of making a nice neutral gray. I go through a lot of pieces of scratch paper. When I paint, I like to have some paper towel by my paint set to dry off my brush. And I like to have a little swatch paper to test out my colors. So we're gonna be using this color first and we're going to be just going along the tops of our feathers and our wings, starting with this light gray purple. Now let's start and we're just going to paint in some of the bigger shadowy areas and then we're gonna go along the feathers. So the first area we're gonna paint is the body of the owl, kind of underneath his chin and we're going to be painting just the shadow that's right in here. And then we're going to be painting this wing, we're just gonna go along this line that we drew and up onto this feather, and then I'm just gonna paint in a little bit underneath. And then with this color, we're going to be painting along the tops of each of these feathers. And I'm just gonna come straight out of that color that I just painted on there. So these should just be along the tops of those feathers, the back side of this wing, so you can kinda see it, and the top. And I'm gonna rinse my brush off, dry it off, and go along this line to kind of soften it up a little bit. It's not quite such a stark contrast. Now let's paint this wing. I'm just gonna start right here. Kind of a fan shadow comes along the bottom of this wing and up and down. So make sure you don't paint the very top of that wing because there's a highlight right there. And then what we're gonna do is the same thing. We're gonna paint along the tops of the feathers. And then when we get under the wing right here, we're gonna be painting the side of the feathers that are closest to the owl's body. And then on the tail feathers, we paint the side of the feather that is closest to the body as well. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the top part of the legs. Okay, and then we're gonna take that same color and we're going to just paint around this harp shape that you drew around the head. Now we're going to use this color to paint in a little bit more of the face. These areas right here that come down into the beak. And I'm gonna paint around the beak and around the eyes. And then there's also some kind of feathers in here, so I'm just gonna paint in some lines. And I'm gonna make it a little bit darker under the eyes. And after you get that area in to soften up the edges, dip your brush in the water, blot it off on your paper towel, and then just come around these edges. And you can kind of paint a little bit of a shadow above the eyes. And then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of orange in a puddle right here and grab that color. And I'm gonna paint the talons and paint the beak. So let's darken this up a little bit with some blue. And a little bit more orange too. Just trying to add a little bit more color to get it a little bit darker. So let's take that color and what we're going to do is add a few more of the shadows under the wings, around the eyes, and on the belly. And then we'll add a few more details on the wings and paint our background. Underneath this wing along this line is a shadow. So we're going to repaint it in, bring it out. And to soften up this edge, 
dip your paintbrush in your water, blot it off on your paper towel, and then just go along the edge with your dry brush. And get that edge a little bit softer. We're gonna take that same color and we're gonna come over on this wing and do the same thing. So it starts on this wing that's coming down a little bit longer and it kind of curves up and over like that and comes into a shadow up here as well. So then I'm going to rinse my brush off and blot it and just go along that edge. Around the head, just a little bit more of a shadow. And you can paint if you want it to look a little bit more textured using these little lines. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more details up in here. We're gonna add some of these details that are on the wings. We don't want it to be very dark. And what it is, it's a line and then three dots. We get a line at the end of the wings and then three dots. And they kind of line up. So I'm trying to line up these dots, these dots, these dots, and these lines. Then in here, they're even lighter, so I'm just gonna dip my brush in water so it's super light, and I'm gonna do the lines and then some dots up in here. So I'm gonna do the same thing while I have it really light under here with the dots. And then we're gonna do the same thing on that wing. We're gonna do a line and then a dot, dot, dot. And then they're also on the tail feathers, so we do a line, dot, dot, line, dot, dot. Now let's go ahead and paint in the eyes. I'm dipping right in the blue and right in the orange, so it's pretty dark, almost a black. And I am going to leave a tiny little highlight in each one of these eyes. So usually how I do that is I just paint a circle and then I paint around it. Now I'm just gonna dip back in this color that's not quite as dark and add any of the details that I wanna add and also get rid of some things that I might not want or cover them up. You can outline or redefine anything that you need to. For example, maybe make sure that you can tell that these are two separate legs. You might wanna put like just some lines. Anywhere you feel like your feathers came together, like mine are kind of in there, I'm just gonna add a little line along the top. But it looks like my eyes might need to come down a little bit into here. So I'm just going to make them a little bit longer. Okay, now let's paint the background in and we're gonna do this as fast as we can so that we can do this cool technique with the salt. You wanna put the salt on when it's not completely wet but when it's not completely dry. If it's completely dry, it doesn't work and if it's completely wet, the salt just kind of gets stuck to it. All right, for our background, let's just get a little bit of salt ready and I'm just gonna dump some on my table right here. I'm just putting it here so I can pinch some and put it in my background. Now we're gonna mix our background color in this tray, but I think we'll need a little bit more water. We do not wanna run out of it. We wanna just paint a nice wash in the background. So just get your blue and drop it on in there. Get your orange, drop it in there. It looks really dark, but when you paint it on paper, do you see how light that is? So we need to add a lot more blue and a lot more orange. Okay, so this is getting a little darker. That's about where I want it. So now that we have everything mixed up in our puddle, we're gonna try to paint the background as quickly as possible so we can put some of the salt into it. Usually I like to tilt my paper, so I'm going along the side of my brush. So I'm gonna tilt it this way as I paint the top part. I want a nice point on this brush so that I can get around these feathers. As you can see, I'm already starting to run out of paint. You can't stop and remix colors, so we're just gonna have to make, I'm just gonna have to make it a little bit lighter and just put some water in it. So learn from my mistake and make a way bigger puddle of paint. So now I'm just gonna pick up my salt and just drop it on there. You know, this salt technique is only gonna work in the areas where it's not completely dry, so probably just in here. Now I'm just gonna let this sit and let the salt do its thing and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so you're, you can start to see the texture that the salt can give your background. Here is a snow owl in watercolor and I tried to break it down and make it as simple as I could for you. So have a great day, we will see you around on YouTube. I'm also gonna show you what this would look like if you used a Sharpie or marker over the top if you wanna look and see that effect. Okay, so this is kind of an illustrative effect. 
This is a fine tip Sharpie and I'm just going to go around some of the edges of my owl and kind of make it look more illustrative. I hope that was a helpful tutorial for you. Thank you for this request. I had a lot of fun trying to paint and draw this out and see you around on YouTube. Have a wonderful day.